Hello, and thank you for viewing another episode of Ikaho Wi-Fi How To Short Videos. In this session, we will be discussing major features added to version 8.70 of Ikaho Wi-Fi Site Survey. In the planning module, while designing a Wi-Fi network, elements has to be added to the floor map. Either this has to be done manually by adding every single component, uh, such as walls, doors, windows to the map, or had to import an AutoCAD file and assign uh, to each layer specific attenuation surfaces that is required. This process of adding manually all the components to the floor map was a very tedious uh, task. However, this is not the case anymore. Simply assign attenuation surfaces and elements to a floor map, select an element or a group of elements, use control copy to copy or right click and copy and paste and that element is pasted then move to the location where you want to draw that element repeat the task for other areas another functionality that has been added to the um, predictive side or planning side of the ECAO Wi-Fi site survey is multi-selecting of elements and assigning a different attenuation surface to it. For example, if I want to change this element, this element, and this element, and change it to a different attenuation type, I simply select that element, shift, select the next element, and the next element, right click, change wall type, and change the element to a different type. And you can see the element has been changed. The next feature is in reference to selecting and deselecting access points. Before, if we had a group of access points, we, uh, in order to select and deselect, we had to deselect and then select a specific access point. However, this is not, not the case anymore simply select them on an the, on the access point and that access point will be selected. If you want to select another access point, select the other access point. If you want to select a group of access points, shift and then select and then multiple access points will be selected. If you want to select a different access point now and deselect these two, just click on the other access point and automatically the other two access points will be deselected. The next functionality of the software is changing the opacity. Uh, before, you had a single color uh, for, the, for the heat map itself uh, with 100% uh, opacity. Now that is variable. We can go to the options, select the opacity that is needed, and it can vary between 30% to 100% depending on the user requirements. This concludes this how to short video for version 8.70 added features. We look forward to see you in other uh, ECAHO Wi-Fi site survey how to short videos from advanced network devices.